So today I'm going to be doing a care video on axolotls. This is my leucistic axolotl. His name is Mudkit. That's him. I think they're fairly easy to take care of. Right now he's in a, a 10 gallon tank. I recommend a 15 or 20 gallon. I'm going to be upgrading him soon. I'm using a low powered filter. They do not like a lot of movement or current. See, the plants are pretty still. The water's calm in there. Um, as substrate, I would not use gravel. A lot of people um, use gravel, and the axolotl will swallow it and potentially die. So, sand is good. Some people use a bare bottom. I don't like that. I think it's pretty messy. It's important that they have a lot of places to hide. He'll spend a lot of the time in his little cave. I use live plants. It also gives him some places to hide. It helps keep the water clean, and I think it looks nice. As to other fish, a lot of people put other fish with them. I don't like that because they will nibble on the axolotl's gills, and he will probably eat them. Um, he eats black worms, blood worms. You can give them um, shrimp, brine shrimp. Some people do axolotl pellets. He doesn't like that. He's pretty picky. So he won't eat the pellets. I wouldn't do feeder fish because they are not treated for disease and they've been known to get other fish sick. The temperature right now, I have a thermometer over here. It should be in the low to mid 60s. <clears throat> Anything above 70 will stress them out. They like their water cold, so um, if you're going to get more than one axolotl and put them together, make sure, first of all, that you have enough room. Second, that they are above um, five inches, because if they're not, they will bite each other's limbs off. They'll regenerate them, but still, you don't want to put them through that kind of stress. For water changes, I usually do them every 10 days. I do like one third. You never want to change the water completely because then first of all you have to go through the entire cycling process again and that will also stress them out and it might shock them from different water so as long as you take care of them they've been known to live up to 10 years if you have any questions either message me or comment um, subscribe to my channel I hope this helped you guys